Welcome design students. In this video we're going to talk about how to render a single image using Arnold. So here I have this scene with a, a barrel in it and I want to render this. Now notice I have a plane which will receive my shadows and I have three lights in here and one of them is targeted. This is the second Arnold 2 target light. This first Arnold light is a sky dome light and the second one is what's called a distant light that simulates the sun coming from a certain direction. The reason I point this out to you is because each render engine has its own lights that work best with it. In, uh, in the case of Arnold, you use Arnold lights. So the first thing we need to do is go to rendering, render setup, and we need to check and make sure that we are using Arnold. 3D Max comes with several different kinds, several different render engines, and Arnold is the one that is set by default, and that's the and that's the one we're going to use. Under your render settings, you have single, and this means we will produce a single frame. We can also produce a number of frames by clicking this, and we'll do that later when we render videos. Here is where you set the resolution. I want you to always turn in for this class. Go to the HDTV video preset and select at least 1280 by 720. And there's lots of other things we can do in here. We can also set a folder to uh, receive the render output that we're going to use. Uh, we're not going to do that right now because um, it's set to go to a certain folder in your project folder. And then up here we have some tabs. The common tab is the one we were just in. Here is the Arnold Renderer tab. And under the Arnold Renderer tab, there are settings specific to Arnold. Uh, here is where you would uh, increase the quality of your image and reduce the noise in it. you got to be careful with these, though, because as you increase them, you will significantly increase the render time. Generally, Diffuse and Camera AA are the two that you use most of the time. If you have a very shiny material, then you would maybe look at Specular for the highlights. If you have a transparent material, then you might look at Transmission. But if neither one of those are true, then these are the two you would uh, increase. There are lots of other things down in here, but uh, we're not going to worry about those right now. And then there are all of these tabs here, which we're just not going to worry about. Now, there are a number of ways to render an image in 3D Max. In Render Setup, you can click this button right here, and that will generate an image. And then you can come up to the Arnold, Arnold menu and use the Arnold Render View. This is the one I like to do. So let's go ahead and do that, and that brings up this window, and we need to click the play button to generate the image, and here is the image. And if it doesn't look right, you can zoom out to make sure it's the right dimension. I'm just rolling my mouse wheel. This is the current frame. Now if we move the frame, then this will update live. If we change anything about the lights, it will update live, such as maybe the exposure. So in the Arnold render view, after you've framed your shot like you want it to be, uh, I think I might rotate this just a little bit so I can see the top of the barrel. After you get it like you want it, you need to let the progress bar go all the way over. And if you see a lot of shadow noise, a lot of graininess in your shadows, then maybe you come in here and increase the diffuse samples a couple of times and wait for it to finish rendering. Notice it's going to take a lot longer to render now. And once you're done doing that and get the quality and everything like you want, you simply come over here to File and click Save Image. And then it's going to ask you where you want to put it. You can put it anywhere. I'm going to just put it on my desktop and name it Barrel. And that is it. And you now have an image that you can upload to ArtStation. That's how you render a still image using Arnold, and I'll see you in the next video.